Alright, as I started this video, I wanted to, you know, and I will have, like, you know, pause me in different times and show you things. Anyway, you don't need to know about the editing part of this video, but, um... Oh, yeah, I was searching for something uh, for this video. Where was I searching for? And it hit me that just in that spot, I was like, wait a minute. TMZ just spoke about this exact thing like less than a week ago. And I can't find it. I can find them talking about it. They would they say someone said some if if Biden had um uh Donald Trump assassinated, he could get off because it, it fall under some kind of oh I take him as a national threat and blah 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 type of thing. Biden can legally kill Donald Trump. They were just talking about this on TMZ. Leave a comment, put the video up to show everybody. I, I'm looking for the video. If you still have the video, put the video up where they was just talking about this. And, 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 and... I looked up, I was looking up, when was the last ass, uh, assassination attempt against a U.S. president? You know what I mean? we, we have the best of the best technology. Money is not an option. The attack by a shooter who law enforcement officials say was neutralized by the Secret Service was the first attempt to assassinate a president or presidential candidate since Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. Yeah, um, my daughter and I went, um, I guess it was four years ago, at the Butler Airport, not even five mi miles from here. Um, it was an awe-inspiring event. We, we were just like, wow. But the one thing we noticed, we walked in there and her and I, you know, we're, we're close. And the one thing we noticed that the airport has a lot of hangars, buildings kind of like this, but they hold planes. Every rooftop of every hangar had three, four, five guys on top of it. With when guns. you say guys, snipers? Law yes, enforcement so, with long guns on long top? Long guns, okay. yes. And even some of them in, in the sniper position. Just scanning everywhere. And my daughter turned to me. To the and, point where you got there, you noticed them right away? Immediately. It was the first thing she said to me. She goes, oh my gosh, Dad, look at this. She goes, I never felt so safe in my life. Those were her exact words. This is four years ago four in years the ago. rally by the airport. Correct. The other airport. Okay. Right. So she didn't come with me this time because she's eight eight months pregnant and the heat yeah. and everything else. Uh, but she really wanted to. So that was so much on our minds there that we talked about it for, I don't know, we just talked about it. We were like so awe-inspired by the, wow. First thing I did when I got here yesterday was I did a complete look around at every rooftop. And I said to myself, that's strange. I don't see one cop, sniper, no, nothing. I don't see anything. And I just thought, that was kind of weird. And at what time is this when you're you're sort of looking around, trying to see what you saw four years ago? It's probably about, well, four years ago, no, we no, noticed no, Today, that, oh, I mean, or yesterday, what, what time was that when you started looking? Probably about two hours before he came on stage. Okay. But I didn't stop looking because it's something that was in my mind because of it was so noticeable back then, but it was also just as noticeable not being see that him, way. but we could hear him. So we walked up in probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking. I'm estimating here. I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed the guy crawling arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. 
and the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof, we can see him from right here. We see him. He, you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two, three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent. hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three and to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the Secret Service? We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? He saw the shooter on the building and his name is Benjamin Macer. Thank you so much for staying around. Just take me back. Um, what were you doing before the shooting happened? And then what did you see in here? Um, I was just hanging, standing there like everybody else, waiting for Trump. And we, as Trump started, we, I noticed two officers that were looking for something or somebody. I was, so I was looking around myself and seeing a guy on top of one of the buildings go in between one building to the next and went and told the officer that he was up there. And when I went back to my spot, I heard that people could s still see the, sh the person from where they were standing. So I checked that out and I went and went back to tell the officer that if he came over there, he could see them. And when I turned my back is when the shots, when the shots started. And then it was, it took me a second or two to figure out exactly what it was. And then it was just getting out of there and helping, helping some, some other person out with her this child. This man was able to basically climb to the next building and you told law enforcement, hey, there's a guy over there. Correct. I don't know how he got up there. I don't know any of that, but I definitely saw him up there and went and told the officer. And that was, that was all I know. Did you get a good look at the shooter? No, I don't know. I don't know anything about him other than I, I believe he had a gray shirt on, but that's about as much as I know. You actually told law enforcement, hey, there is a guy over there. Correct. And what was their response again? Um, they were just, <laughs> he just took that information and went towards the building looking for it, looking for the person. And I'm not sure, like I said, when I turned around is when the shots were, so I don't know what happened with that and then it was then obviously my attention was di directed somewhere else another witness i interviewed he's just is baffled just confused how with all of the police here the secret service how this could have happened just what are you wondering right now um i don't really i don't have much wonder he was the shooter was outside of the secured fence um it he never would have been he never would have went through security. He never, uh, so he was just far enough away, and that it, I don't know. It's an unfortunate thing that happened, and it's not. That's all. And did you see him get shot? No, like I said, my back was turned at that point, so I didn't see any of it. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate Probably it. Probably a minute or two before the shooting. Saw a guy, a uh, gray shirt, climbing up the metal roof on the building right beside us. And uh, didn't know what he was doing, trying to alert cops and, and uh, police that there was a guy crawling on the roof. And then we saw a rifle sling over his shoulder. And uh, yeah, after that, a couple shots fired off. This is now the second eyewitness that I have reported on with a very consistent story. Uh, the man whose body is on video being shown on top of a metal roofed building that was adjacent, a uh, caddy corner to where Trump was on the stage, which would have positioned him with a shot at the right side of the former president's head, which is where he was struck, multiple shots fired. And gray is consistent with what seems to be the color of the camo that we see on the man who was positioned in the red square at the top of your screen. 
Um, authorities are also reporting that they recovered on that man an Armalite uh, AR style uh, semi automatic rifle, an AR 15. Uh, this was really not the best weapon for an assassin to want to use with this kind of shot, but that's what was used here. I'm very upset. It's, it, I can't say for sure who's behind this, but I'll tell you what, it's only going to cause more division in this country because of the people that support President Trump. And it's only going to make people hate Joe Biden even more, whether he had anything to do with it or not, and whether the Democratic Party had anything to do with it or not, it seems that they'll do anything to remain in power. And I'll tell you what, it's only going to cause more division in this country. And there's enough already, you're going to see more. Um, I feel like the nomination is coming up on Monday, and I feel like that they, they don't want him. They don't want this man to be president because he's trying his hardest to save America, and that's not what they want. They want America to fall. They're scared. Yeah, they're scared. You're right. Yeah. They're scared.